first security feature I'll be talking about is your Windows Firewall. Windows Firewall is one key effort by Microsoft to keep your PC safe from malware and virus attacks. Turning on your firewall is relatively easy, but configuring your firewall settings is a little more demanding. To turn on your firewall or rather to verify that it's turned on as it should be by default, go to your search box and type firewall. Then click on the Windows Firewall from the search result. Of course, you could also go through your control panel. So from here you can see the status of your firewall where it says Windows Firewall State. Mine says on, meaning the firewall is active. To turn your firewall on or off as the case might be, you can go through this option where it says turn Windows Firewall on or off. Here you can also choose the settings based on the type of network. Normally when you connect to a network for the first time, Windows will prompt you to select the location of your network where you find the home, the work or public. So you can configure your firewall based on this grouping. Now you can also adjust the relative strength of your firewall. Hence windows can be configured to be incredibly strong using just the firewall settings to block any kind of suspected application without even asking. Or you can keep the settings a little bit weaker to allow certain applications you may verify to be safe, but firewall by default perceives them to be unsafe, which means there is slightly a greater risk that your PC will become hit with some kind of infection but the firewall won't interfere as much if you have made it a little bit weaker. So you can choose to turn it off altogether, which keeps you at very high risk. So the advanced security settings on firewall is more like designing your own custom made antivirus software for free. The easiest way to find out which settings are best for you is to simply test things out for a few days and make changes as required. If you forget what you've done in the settings or you think you've mixed up things in the settings, just click on restore default policy on the right hand side of the advanced settings menu to get things back to default. The second security measure we'll be talking about is your Windows Defender. In addition to your firewall settings, the Windows Defender is another key defense mechanism on Windows. It focuses on keeping viruses off of your PC by detecting malware and removing any detected infections. Just like the firewall, activating your Windows Defender is relatively easy. From your settings, you click on Update and Security and then click on Windows Defender. The real-time protection on your Windows Defender is turned on by default to allow Windows to constantly monitor for anything suspicious and to step in should there be any detection. Now to see the status of your Defender and possibly change its settings, click on Open Windows Defender Security Center. The Windows Defender is such a vital part of your Windows security that even if you intentionally or mistakenly turn it off, the OS would automatically turn it back on after a while. However, if you have a third-party antivirus application running on your Windows PC, Windows Defender will be turned off automatically so as to avoid conflict. Although Windows Defender has received a lot of criticism in the past, it's actually a solid enough security solution these days. And it's very nicely streamlined. It, it wouldn't push up frequent notifications like most antivirus programs do. The third security strategy on Windows that I'll be talking about is setting up your device encryption. Now that we've talked about protecting your Windows 10 with firewall and Windows Defender, how about making your files appear in a way that cannot be decoded or understood by hackers and attackers? Well, that is where the need for device encryption arises and thankfully Windows 10 Pro Edition comes with strong encryption facilities which are easy to set up. Just go to your state search and type encrypt and select encrypt your offline files. And by clicking on encrypt on the next window, you are able to encrypt your offline files. The next thing is to go back to your search and type manage BitLocker and click on the corresponding result from the search. After that, click on turn on BitLocker, then follow the subsequent instructions to set up your BitLocker. Here you can also encrypt any attached storage devices you may have on your PC. With your data encrypted, if hackers or adversaries manage to somehow access it, the information won't be of any use to them. Now, there are several other security measures on Windows 10 which I will not be able to cover in details in this video, but I will add some links to the description section where you can find out more about them and how to get the best of them on your Windows PC. For instance, 
the data execution prevention which helps to prevent malicious codes from being run on certain regions of your memory windows defender smart screen which notifies user if they click on reported phishing or malware website and helps to protect them against unsafe downloads or make informed decisions about downloads using group policy settings to enforce security measures if you are using shared pc and also address space layout randomization which helps to mitigate malware that's designed to attack specific location of your pc the beauty of it all is that you already have all these security measures on your windows 10 by default some you need to activate and others are already activated for you and when you experience what appears to be a security threat on your windows you can always use check security status tool on your windows to review recent security messages and resolve problems adequately that is it for today so thanks so much for checking out this video definitely subscribe for more videos just like this and if you are having any challenges using your windows always post in the comment section below and i will respond to you as soon as possible and if need be i could make a video to help you and others who may be experiencing similar problems as well thanks again for watching and see you soon